Them no know, them no know, them no know Tell me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know, them no know, them no know Tell me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Face pretty, me no need no filter Real top girl a road Shop like splinter, me no wear girl clothes Me no pose in a rental Work for this, it no coincidental Money Longer than the line in the airport Eat them white like my Air Force Me a drip on the soon need a raincoat Creep up on them like police in a plain clothes Them no know, them no know, them no know Send me a real top girl Them fi know me a real top girl Real, real top girl, real top girl Me can do it natural Them no know Hey YouTube besties, this is your girl Arlena. I'm back with another video. This time I'm doing an overlay on the natural nail for one of my girlfriends. Um, I'm gonna do a fall set, um, or should I say a fall inspired set using orange and black. And I'm gonna do a 3D art on one of her nails, which is the ring finger. I'm gonna do a moth <laughs> sort of um, 3D design. And I'm gonna use the maple leaf um, sequence on her pointer finger. Now with the thumb, I wanted to do that peekaboo sort of ombre, but because of how I laid the black, it was, I didn't like how it came out after putting the orange on it. So what I did was I just did it in thin lines, black, orange, and then the nude. And because some of the orange had the black underneath, I didn't like how it looked when it was finished after adding the nude. So I used Zule's painting gel in gold to cover the darkness around the cuticle area. So here you're gonna see me prepping her nails. I use my diamond bit to remove the cuticle and remove the shine. Then I go in with my cuticle bit to take whatever was left from the diamond bit and then my ball bit to clean up around her epinacrum to make sure that I don't have to clip with my nipper. And then I'm going to go in with one coat of dehydrated, two coats of the Mia Secret Extra Bonded, and then I will do a layer of clear and do my design. I'm going to let you listen to some music and then come back a little later on.
hi guys so i'm back here again now the reason that i use clear on her natural nail is because of the colors that i'm using the black stains really bad and so does that orange that is one of the sassy orange so it is not of the best quality but it's very very vibrant that's the reason why i chose to use it so here i'm going to be doing a marble on the th on the pinky I'm doing the 3D moth on the ring finger. On the pointer finger, I just put two lines of each color in one corner. And then the nude on the pointer finger, I put the sequence maple, maple leaf. And then on the thumb, I do the two lines at the cuticle with the color. Um, nude and then added the gold gel paints at the end um this i just pulled this out of my head i wasn't sure what to do so i just made up something on the spot and did her nails it came out pretty cute um the 3d moth wasn't my best 3d design nonetheless we liked it so we left it um i'm gonna come back when i'm doing a 3d design to explain what i did and how i got it done and my reason for doing it that way
I'm back again guys so here I'm encapsulating all of the designs I have made because I want to ensure when I'm filing those designs are protected I had to yarn I am so tired I just want to make sure that I get this voiceover completed and upload my video tonight because I don't want to do what I did last week and upload on Tuesday so I am going to finish encapsulating all of the designs that I need to. I'm going to do my filing top, top coat and then I'm going to do my 3D design and I'm trying to remember if I did the gel paint before I did the 3D design. One of the two. But I always top coat. There it went again, another yarn. Yes, I always top coat before I do my 3D design. I find it easier to work with. I know most persons say they like to do a matte top coat. I have not tried a matte top coat as yet. I always do my shiny top coat. However, I did buy a matte top coat from Mshare on AliExpress to try that is the company that i got my um builder gel and jelly gel from so i'm waiting to try that i actually just need to get a bottle and brush that i can use because what they gave me was a squirt bottle which is small so i need my own brush and bottle to use it so enjoy the rest of the video when i get to the 3D design, I'll come back. So here I am buffing. Um, I always use a 100 side first to buff off whatever scratches from the file and e-file. And then I use the 180 side with my cuticle oil to smoothen the surface. So that's where we're at at the moment. I also use the 100 side underneath the nail to take off any sharpness that would there would be there from filing because you know when we have freshly filed nails they're a bit sharp so i tend to take the buffer and pass it underneath the nail no matter how short or long it is i do it with everyone
Okay, so here I'm just finishing off the painting gel. What I did is I put down a line because it was too thick. I had to use my hands and the umber brush to blend it out a little bit and get the desired look that I wanted. Now, for the moth, I'm using the black and orange together. I picked up the black first, then the orange um, to make the wings and then i used the black to make the body now i did the body in parts to make it have that three-dimensional look or effect that moths normally do you see their head their heads move and then you have the body and tail together that's the reason why i did it that way I am so tired that I just realized that it didn't say thank you guys for watching. So if you're still here, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wish so that you can see more of my videos. And turn on your notification post to all so that you will know every time I upload a video. If you are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. It warms my heart that I have gotten so many subscribers in this short space of time. And I have so many supporters in the ladies that support one another. And I really enjoy the camaraderie that we have. We have so much talent and it's so amazing that we are able to share with one another and give each other guidance and i love you ladies a lot and i want each and every one of us to shine so for those of you who are returning don't forget to like and comment if you want to go the extra mile you can share to your socials to boost my views on youtube thank you once again guys i'm gonna let you finish watching the end of the video and then i'll come back to say my goodbyes.
Okay guys, we're almost at the end of the video. I would like to thank you for watching. If you're still here, you can put an orange heart in the comments. Sending you so much love and thank you for being here with me. Sending you lots of love, sunshine and rainbows from Barbados. Bye you two besties. Any game I play me off you win